Guys, welcome back to your Sunday fix. You will notice this week we are playing Fulford, which you'll see on screen and you'll see some shots from James's video. But today I'm here at Waterfront Golf and we are talking about or what's in the bag at the bottom end of my bag for this series. And the bottom end of the bag, guys, I have got the Skyforger wedges. So guys, you will see on screen that they are working out around about 99 pounds and you can get a 48, a 52, a 56 and a 60. I have the 60, 56 and 52 in my bag and then I go straight to the pitching wedge in the combo set, which we'll talk about on next week's video. So for me, obviously these wedges, what we're trying to get from them is a little bit of versatility. Can you play all the different shots? And these wedges obviously come in cheaper than your Vokies. You're looking at saving around about 60 pounds compared to your premium wedges. So straight away there, that's giving you obviously a little bit more room in your budget, whether it's for lessons or just like on this series, you go and play some top golf courses that you haven't played before. Now, for me, when we're talking wedges, we have to have clubs that can play multiple shots. And you'll see there, for me, that's a 60 degree, a mid-flight, taking a little divot, and that's just gone past the flag, a tricky flag here at Waterfront. But when we are buying wedges, we want it to be able to play multiple shots. So there I've got a mid-flighted shot. If I now change my setup, can I play a higher shot? You can see... I can play a higher shot there, but now if I want to play a low shot, do I still have that ability? Because you might not have to purchase all of these Skyforger wedges. You might purchase a 56 and a 52 and then go to your pitching wedge. That might then give you a couple more options at the top end of your bag, which I certainly have got with my clubs for this series. But again here, if I want to play a low one, I've just got to make sure I get my setup correct. Weight left, ball position back. And you can see there straight away, I can get that launching lower and running out even with a 60 degree. So this is where you need to think about what are you going for. Again, with these wedges, what you're gonna see is in the 56 and the 60, you've got 12 degrees of bounce. Once we go down to the 52, we've got 10 degrees of bounce. And the 48, which might be a pitching wedge in your set, has eight degrees of bounce. So plenty of options there but it all depends on what your pitching wedge is in your set. We know these days pitching wedges can range from 43 degrees in a stronger set all the way up to 46 to maybe 47. So you have to think about what is in your set. You'll see there again, ball flight, I was able to play all different ball flights with the same golf ball. And the golf ball that we're using in this series is the Seed Golf Ball. So fantastic options from Seed, but I am using the SD01 Golf Ball. And you'll see now on their website, they have a great comparison chart. So you can see what kind of golf ball they compare to. This one is compared to the Pro V1, which is the golf ball that I have used for years. But you also see there is a two-piece golf ball on there. There are golf balls like the AVX is one that compares to a TP5 or a PIX golf ball if you was James Robinson. So plenty of options, but you have to make sure you're getting the right one for you and getting a ball that gives you a consistent flight. For somebody like Mid Handicap Dave, who is behind camera today, he would use something more like a two-piece golf ball. So he would be going for the SD15 golf ball, which again would launch a little bit higher, different cover on there. It's gonna generate a different ball flight, different landing conditions to help him lower his scores. But let's see how these clubs do out of the rough and where else these clubs are good from. So guys, obviously also in my bag today, we have the 52 degree as well as the 56. So like I said here, 52 for me is a club that I do use around the edge of the green. So we can still see we're gonna get some versatility with this club. Again, I can start to play short sided shots here, start to make sure that I'm getting that ball moving forwards there. Snaggy lies at the moment. We'll start to see that obviously this time of the year we're getting a lot of growth. We know in the UK the weather hasn't been great. But even with this club, I can start to open this up. So even on a short-sided shot here, 52, nice and open, I can get that ball coming up nice and high. Is that the right club for this shot? Maybe not, but you can see how I can play different shots with it. That was more the swing length for me because it came out great. But let's try another one of those smaller swing. And you can see there, 
we would take that on a short-sided shot. So we're getting versatility from these wedges from Tacoma. Would you put these wedges into your golf bag? Again, fantastic looking wedges, reasonable price, or would you go second hand? That's a big question. But golf ball, again, are you looking to save money on your golf ball this year? Dave has been losing quite a few golf balls in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> so he is considering changing this golf ball and Seed have some fantastic options. But next week, guys, I'm gonna be talking through what irons I have in my bag, and then we'll finally get to the top end of the bag where there's a new club going in for next week.